Had Fort Myers Police Department done their job, Mr. Allen and his family would not have been humiliated, and a man would not be loose in Fort Myers right now. Questioning how police handled his client, the attorney for NFL player Nate Allen, raising big concerns tonight about how Fort Myers officers handled a case in which the Southwest Florida native has now been cleared of any wrongdoing. And tonight, someone else, the state attorney, is now raising questions about the method Fort Myers police used to identify suspects. More on that in just a bit, but we want to tell you what the state attorney's office is saying specifically about the Nate Allen case. The state attorney says Nate Allen, quote, could not have been the perpetrator in an indecent exposure case in which police questioned him for hours last week. And tonight I'm laying out the new information that now has police instead of Nate Allen on the defensive. It all started last Monday on 41 near this massage parlor and vapor shop when a 16-year-old girl called 911 reporting seeing a man touching himself sexually while in his truck. Investigators say she described the man as of mixed race with a gray or white goatee in his mid-40s or early 50s in a red shirt, white visor, and black pickup truck, possibly a Ford. A short time later, police pulled over this Ford pickup owned by Cape Coral native turned NFL player Nate Allen, who at 27 years old could hardly pass for a man in his 40s or 50s. He did have a light beard, but clearly it was not a gray or white goatee. Like the man the teen described, Nate Allen was wearing a red shirt. He was wearing a white ball cap, not the white visor the teen described. Nevertheless, police handcuffed Allen along the side of Colonial Boulevard and called the teenage caller to the scene. The 16-year-old girl, don't know what she looks like, was in the back of the cop car, and I was being told just to stand there. And I'm in cuffs at this time. I'm in cuffs, and I'm being told right on the side of Colonial, and I'm being told to stand there. The teenager reportedly told police Allen was the guy. Nate Allen, who didn't even know why he was stopped, says he spent the next four and a half hours in police custody, finally asking police a question from a holding cell. Is there any way that I might have to sleep here tonight? And they were like, well, um, you know, we're not sure. We don't know what's going to happen. It depends on whether or not you're charged tonight. And I'm like, charged? What is charged with what? Allen's attorney tells Fox 4 just the length of time Allen was detained points to police incompetence. What do you think was happening for all those hours that Mr. Allen was sitting in the Fort Myers Police Department? You know, you'd like to think that for that length of time that they were conducting an investigation, Warren, but I think what was going on is all the officers were sitting around staring at each other, wondering who had screwed up the worst. In this statement, released a full week after that night, the state attorney suggested a screw-up may have occurred when police brought the young teen caller to face Allen on the side of the road, saying six years ago, quote, the courts have found the method used by the Fort Myers Police Department is inherently suggestive and leads to potential misidentification. But on the same day the state attorney said that, the police department released its own statement saying allowing the teen to come to the scene to identify a suspect was, quote, standard protocol. And now, for the first time, a week after the teen first called police, the police department is just now asking the public for tips to find the man who touched himself in this part of town where it all started. All of it leaving Nate Allen's attorney shaking his head. Had Fort Myers Police Department done what their obligation is and to investigate this offense, Mr. Allen would not have been illegally detained, taken to Fort Myers Police Department, had his career jeopardized. He says Nate Allen's career is very much affected by this because he's entering free agency in the NFL, meaning his contract with the Philadelphia Eagles is up, so the Eagles or other teams are now deciding whether to offer him a contract. Allen's attorney pointing out this dragged on for a week and led to national coverage of allegations of which he's just now being cleared of publicly. We asked if he's going to sue. Attorney Sawyer Smith telling us, quote, it's halftime. We'll be going to the locker room and looking at our playbook. And Nate Allen's attorney and the state attorney seem to be raising questions about the playbook Fort Myers police are using. His attorney says bringing a victim to identify a suspect face to face like that is usually reserved for serious crimes like assault or murder. That clearly was not the case here. The act for which Mr. Allen was accused is a misdemeanor. It's called indecent exposure. And in Florida, 
A misdemeanor like that, that happens outside the presence of law enforcement, is a non-arrestable offense. Now keep in mind, when police initially handed over their findings to the state attorney's office last week, their documents request that the state attorney bring a charge of exposure of sexual organs against Nate Allen. Tonight, the police department says in the days following, detectives obtained video footage, and that video evidence clearly indicated Mr. Allen was not the perpetrator of this offense. Now, the chief of Fort Myers Police has ordered a full administrative review of this incident and says because of that, they will not release any documents or video footage, meaning you cannot actually see what happened. Meanwhile, they say if you do know where the real suspect is or you know anything that can help, you can call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-780-TIPS. And still to come in our next half hour here on Fox 4 News at 10, Nate Allen's mom telling four in your corner what's getting them through this public nightmare. We're also sharing a steady stream of your calls, your emails, your Facebook posts about how police have handled this. In the meantime, it's never too late to join the community conversation. It's 206 Fox 4. Give us a call or shoot us an email, news at Fox for now.com. Of course, you can get real time updates and see our complete coverage from day one of this story on fox4now.com.